Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, Tech Gitter Official. In today's video, we're going to fix a common issue, Wi-Fi connected but no internet access. So without wasting any time, let's get started. When your Wi-Fi shows as connected, but you try to open a web page and it says, no internet. Here's what you can do. First method, click on the start button and type control panel. Open control panel, and from the top right corner, change the view by to small icons. Click on internet options or internet properties. Go to the connections tab and click on lawn settings. Make sure that use a proxy server for your lawn is unchecked. Click OK, then again OK to close everything and return to your desktop. Second method, open control panel. Go to network and internet network and sharing center. Click on your connected Wi-Fi network name. In the new window, click properties. Scroll down and find internet protocol version 4. TCP slash IPv4. Make sure it is checked. Select it and click properties. Make sure obtain an IP address automatically and obtain DNS server address automatically are selected. Click OK, then OK again and close everything. This method ensures your computer is automatically getting the correct IP and DNS from your router. Third method. Click on the start button and search for network troubleshooter. Open it and let Windows detect and fix the issue automatically. When troubleshooter is open then you click on next and it is automatic detected your problem. Fourth method. Click on start button and type setting and open setting. Go to network and internet. Scroll down and click on advanced network settings. Click on network reset. Then click reset now. Your PC will restart and all your network settings will reset to default. You'll need to reconnect to your Wi-Fi after this. Fifth method. Again, go to the start button and search for settings. Click on it, then go to network and internet. Click on the Wi-Fi option and then click on your connected Wi-Fi device name. After that, click on private network and make sure the metered connection option is turned off. If it is on, turn it off. Then, go back to the desktop. I hope this video helps you. Thanks for watching.